Okay, so it's Jessica here. I'm back with another layout using up some acrylic stash with a couple of my scrappy friends. And I'm also combining this with off the board with pineapple papers using this sketch by Erica with Bella Boulevard design team. So I am going to start with some Distress Oxides in Kitsch Flamingo and Picked Raspberry. I'm just kind of um, scratching them across my page here. And then I'm gonna spray them with a bunch of water using just my spray um, bottle here. And as you all know, I'm very impatient. So please enjoy this ride today for this disaster of a layout. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a disaster. I shouldn't really say that. It's just, I'm just so impatient. I can't wait for anything. And I don't wait for this to dry. It was really, really bold and beautiful. And then I dried it up with a paper towel. And I'll show you even more how impatient I am is I'm heating up my laminator right now behind me to run this through the laminator because I just can't stand waiting for anything to dry. So I've added some splatters with um, the picked raspberry color. I'm using my heat gun and then here's where I ran it through my laminator off camera. So I am using some splatters here with some Delusions white ink. And then as you can see, there's my acrylic title that I'm gonna use, it says Treasured Moment. This is another uh, whoopsie moment that I do here. I go ahead and attach my photo to this pattern paper. It's beautiful, I love it. It's a photo of my girl and I, and it's one of my favorite photos. But apparently the new photo paper that I bought is uh, see-through, so there's that. <laughs> So later on in this layout off camera, I actually go back in and put a piece of white, uh, just smooth white cardstock underneath my photo so that you can't tell. So yeah, that's that happens off camera and like after it sat for a day and I thought about it and it really bothered me and I had to fix it. So I pulled it back up and did it. So you'll see that fixed towards the end. And here I'm just running my um, Ellie Studio die. This is like a little uh, file pocket and um, a file folder. So I am just running that through my big shot because I wanted that just to peek behind my layout here. And then I am cutting these little star dies apart. These are by Ellie Studio also or Elle's Studio. And um, I'm not even gonna tell you how long it took me to find those wire cutters. You know, the handle on them is bright yellow, bright, bright yellow. Do you think that I could locate them? No, mm -mm, no, and if, right where I left them, right in my uh, little cup here behind me full of tools, but somehow I could not see the bright yellow handles sticking out. So yeah, that took a while and I'm not gonna mention how long that actually took. So I am just continuing to run these star dies through my Big Shot machine. I left this in here so you could kind of watch my process and see how I do this. As you can see, my Big Shot machine is well loved and my handle is like really falling apart. Um, I like to use my metal platform or metal, metal platform? No, um, magnetic platform by Stampin' Up! And um, that way the dies stick to it and they don't move around too much. But I um, I use it with the magic mat, so I actually have to shim it a little bit because I find with the magic mat, it's not real tight whenever you run it through. So I just use a, one or two pieces of uh, cardstock just on top to run it through. So that's what you saw there. You saw my magnetic pl platform along with the magic mat and then a couple shims that I use just cardstock. So here, just to follow the sketch design, she had a couple, um, a couple like pieces of paper or borders on the sides of this layout. So I'm just going to cut this white piece down a little bit and um, I'm gonna rough up the edges just using my edge distressor. If you don't have one, you can use the edge of your scissors as well. Um, as you can see, I have my stars just kind of laying there. They're not attached yet or anything. They're just laying and I just uh, threw them off. <laughs> now this, <laughs> I think I've done this before on camera and laughed at myself then and I'm gonna laugh at myself again because I know there's an easier way to do this guys but just you know do as I say not as I do I guess and I really wanted those borders didn't feel like measuring out anything but I ended up having to line it up on my glass mat with the dimensions and make sure that it's still 12 by 12 because I am actually cutting it out from the back to save all that paper because I really really like that um, pattern paper so I just adhered it to the back of my layout with my ATG gun and then just cut the middle piece out um, then I'm just gonna start layering all of these stars from my die cuts I am gonna put some on top of my photo some behind it I'm just gonna layer them up kind of alternating the patterns a little bit 
My paper is still kind of warped, so I'm just playing with it, trying to get it to flatten out. Not too worried about that because I know it's gonna flatten out in my book. And my laminator did help kind of flatten it out and dry it up a lot. So um, it's not that bad. It's just kind of the top now. Sorry, my boys are in the room. Uh, they're, they're actually crafting as well across the room right now. So they are um, cutting some things with their little kid scissors and having a blast. Um, so yeah, just continuing to layer up these stars on here and just kind of place them vertically. I have kind of went off the grid with the sketch design. Erica's stars took up a lot more of the page and filled up a lot of that white space where mine is more a vertical design. So I just kind of followed her layout um, loosely and I just wanted to keep mine to that vertical design. So I fast forwarded that a little bit so you don't have to watch me sticking down all those stars. But I popped a couple of them up with some foam squares just for some dimension on there. And then um, since this layout is for acrylic stash busting, I've actually pulled out some Fair acrylic, mommy. thank you buddy, some acrylic bits by um, Pear Tree Cut Files. So all the stars there are by Pear Tree. And then that treasured moment title is actually um, like a real beautiful pink color and it is by Colorcast Designs. So I've pulled out a bunch of these little stars to stash bust on here and just go with my theme, kind of enhance what I've already got going on. And then I'm just going to use my Liquid Nuvo Glow to attach them and also attach a whole boatload of sequins. Here's where I'm using my sequin tool to attach a whole bunch of sequins. I have pulled out the sequin mix by Simple Stories Heart Eyes Collection, and then I'm also going to pull out another sequin mix. I think it's called Find the Joy by uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps because after I let this sit for a day and came back to it, I realized that it really needed a whole lot more sequins and something in that top right corner. So that's what I do whenever I come back to it the second day, which you'll see here right now. So this is day two of this layout and I decide to add a little cluster up here. Thanks to my friend, Wendy, who I sent her the photo of this layout. I'm like, what does this need? Because sometimes you just need a scrappy friend to kick you in gear Mom. and tell you what your layout is lacking. So she helped me out a good bit on this one, said put something here on the side and add a whole bunch more sequins. So that's exactly what I do. I pulled out that sequin mix by Spiegel Mom Scraps and I added a whole bunch more and just pulled out like the pink tones in that mix because there are some yellows and blues in there as well. So I just stick to the pink tones and add a whole bunch more and then I'm adding some thread behind this little cassette tape here. I thought it was super cute from the um, collection by Bella Boulevard, our love song, which is the main collection that I'm using here for this layout. And then I'm um, just adding some of those um, stars that I had left over. I had a few left from uh, when I cut all of them out. So this just worked out perfectly. And I'm just adhering all that down and I'm just gonna add a bunch more sequins on this side and that's gonna finish this one up. And then all I need to do is flip this over and trim that little piece of the star off. So here's the finished layout, guys. I hope you enjoyed this process today and please hop along with all the other people playing along with Off the Board today. And also I'll link my other scrappy friends that are playing along with the acrylic stash bust. So thank you guys again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.